So Cloister of Trials basically is like a mini puzzle where you will have to place the spheres on different slots or where must it be placed like like this sphere goes here but this one should be here and then there will be times where you need to touch something like this the glyph which will allow you to open the wall and make it further in and sometimes you will even discover another sphere another sphere so like this one we have a slot for the sphere okay glyph spheres open the way to the chamber of the faith destruction spheres open the way to the hidden treasure should note that it seems that besides spheres are also necessary and we got The Glyph Sphere, which is necessary to open the Chamber of the Faith. The Chamber of the Faith is basically where you will get the Aeon. So basically, as you use the Glyph Spheres, you are making your way to the Chamber of the Faith. So there's a slot here. There's a slot here as well. Okay, we got something here. What is this? It's a besides sphere. Okay. Let's see what it does. Let's see if it will do something here. Here we go. But before we proceed here, since once we proceed here, there's no coming back to this trial, we will need to get the treasure chest first. Every temple or every cloister of trial has its own um treasure chest and from those treasure chests you can get some really really good equipment that you can use in battle that can help you um, it can help you make some of the battles easier or get access to certain abilities ahead not only that <laughs> if you're if you can get all of the destruction spheres I mean all of the treasures from each cloister of trial then post game you will be able to get a hidden aeon or a secret aeon so remember that so we got a destruction sphere and like what was said earlier destruction sphere paves way to the treasure so what we must remember is that Always, always get the destruction sphere and get the treasure. Here we got Rod of Wisdom, and all right, just like in the Cloister of Trials in Bisei Temple, we're gonna solve a, a mini puzzle. So, Kilika Sphere emits fire, and for the first room. There's really nothing else that we can put this fear on, but only here. So a door open for us, but we can't get in because there's a fire. So simply remove this fear. Let's remove the flames. Then maybe we can place the Kilika sphere here for the meantime. We might need it later. And then this one, Glyph Sphere. Hmm, don't push it yet. Then we use this here. A Glyph will appear. But 
we can touch or no? Nope. Maybe we'll have to use the Kilika Sphere again. There we go. A glyph appeared. Then place it here. Then touch the glyph that just appeared. Okay, we can't pass through that. So for now, we'll get this. Then place it here for the meantime. Then I suppose this is where we make use of the Glyph Sphere. So you can remove the flames. There we go. More or less you are done already, but like what I said... If you want to get the Hidden Aeon in this game, you must get the treasure in every Cloister of Trial, and that means using the Destruction Sphere. Okay, so for now, wait. It has something to do with this pedestal. So let's take this. Place the Kilika Sphere here. Then move this. We will move this to the glowing glowing spot that you saw earlier. Hmm? What? Can't move it, wait. Let's get this first. Then place it here. can move it. What? Hmm. How come I can move it to the left? Tidus. We need to stop now. Okay. Push it forward. Set forward. Then to the right. Hope I'm doing it correct. This is how I remember it. Oops. Oh wait, maybe we need to use the Kilika Sphere first. Hope it does something, because I can't reset the pedestal. There we go. Oh, there's... That is where we place the Destruction Sphere. But first, let's remove the Kilika Sphere. Okay, get the destruction sphere and then put it here. There you go. Let's see what's inside. 
Red arm that equipment for Kimaru. Oh, this is better than yellow armlet because you get resistance from three elements, namely fire, ice, and lightning. That will help us. Wait, we need the Kilika Sphere once more. And there you have it, that's about it for the Cloister of Trials in Kilika. Also, if it's not yet obvious, our next Aeon will be having the Thunder Element Affinity. So you can guess what our what our fourth Aeon's Affinity will be, right? It can be either Water or Ice. This for those who haven't played FF10. Alright, our main objective here will be to fill the symbol here, to lighten up the symbol over here. So you can use the lines, the blue lines, as a reference so that you will have an idea on how you will light them up. But first things first, we will need to power up one of the Jose spheres. Taking the two Josie spheres here and putting them right here. And then you keep the sphere here at the pedestal. Move it here. You'll get an interaction. So with the new Josie sphere. We will now place it to power up this door. After powering up that door, you can see that there's another blue line here, right? So we need to go over there to activate it. So how do we go over there? There's an electricity. Basically, you just need to place this to Josie's spheres over at the pedestal and then move the pedestal over there. It will act as a platform. Basically the logic is the Josie's spheres will kind of interact with electricity over here and it will float. You need to place two, you can't place just one. like a magnet or something. It's attracting the electricity. Then push this one. We'll activate the symbol at the center. Nothing left to do here, so you just put a pedestal back by going here. And then... You place the Josie Spheres back here, so you can see there's a blue line over here, which goes all the way back here. Just do the same for the other one. And then for the final symbol, we take this powered up Josie Sphere, then place it here instead. 
and that will turn to a platform that can take us to the second floor. Also, before you go up, make sure to be wary of your surroundings. Like this one. This will help us get the treasure here. And like what I said earlier in my previous recordings, you need to get every treasure in each temple using the destruction sphere so that you can unlock anima soon. And take the destruction sphere up. Titus will just keep holding it, so there's no need for us to go down anymore. Okay, here we just need to push this to finish the trial. There will be a total of five. Before you go there, you put the destruction sphere over here. And we get the treasure. Magic sphere, that will be useful again for Lulu or Yuna. Okay, we're done here. Now we go up. break what
remember exactly how we should do this so please bear with me this would have been definitely easier if we have the same mechanic for ff12 where we can boost the game speed up to twice as much or four times as much So I find it weird that no priest was guarding the entrance to this temple. Is it even temple? Is it even a temple at this point? <laughs> it's made up of machina. You have to pick a direction. Uh... Wait, actually we can't use the D-pad to pick a direction. You'll have to take note of the glyphs on where it is pointing at. Anyway, I'll be getting this bevel sphere. I don't think it does anything here anyway. So now we will have two bevel sphere. Nothing there. We'll be going down. You just need to press the confirm button to confirm the direction. Well, this one is just straight ahead. Perhaps we'll use the Bevel Sphere to activate something. Wait, there's another Bevel Sphere here. I can't... Wait, maybe I can get this and hold... and hold it. Let's see if it will disappear out of nowhere. Read that the camera is facing this way. There's no other option for the direction. Maybe we'll need to go to the right. Back to the initial floor and then go to the right. Ah, there we go. Doesn't have any sphere over there. So we'll be placing the one Tiris is holding here. Now we should be able to pick more direction. Here we go to the lower floor. Now we have more option. Going to left. Hmm. To go at the end. Check what's here. Okay, we can place a sphere. There's the destruction sphere over there. Let's see what will happen first. I don't think I can get it yet. Okay, it will activate a pathway. Let's try placing this. But I have a feeling we will need a different sphere. Yeah, it doesn't work. Maybe we need the glyph sphere. Okay, so for now, I'll be taking both spheres back.
then we will return here once we get a different kind of sphere. At least now we know that the Beve that the Bevel sphere doesn't work. We can approach the trial and error way. Maybe we can go on the first turn. Not sure where this does lead to. I think we can push again. Ah, uh, okay. This is the final path. So we actually need to go to the second turn. This is where we will be placing the Bevel Sphere. Should open the pathway. For the main path. Wait, you can only hold... Oh, what? Ah, there's a sphere over there. Okay, might as well just place this one. On the destruction sphere path. This would be faster rather than going back to the first floor and then making space. I'm beginning to understand it better. We're gonna get gl the Glyph Sphere, place it on the pedestal, and then get the Bevel Sphere from the pedestal, put it here. But I think we will need another Bevel Sphere. Wait, what? Doesn't do anything. Okay, maybe I'll try getting the destruction sphere. Let's try putting the glyph sphere. Here. If it doesn't when then we will try go we will we will go back to the lowest floor. Maybe that is where we need to place the glyph sphere. But I kinda doubt it because there is There's something leading to the to the path. Okay, got a destruction sphere. Maybe 
Maybe this is the one that we need. Mm. If I get the Bevel Sphere from here. Now we can we can get it. He just can only hold one at a time. Maybe this is the one that we need. I'll be taking that I'll be I'll be taking back the Revel Sphere and then put a destruction sphere there. Since it does absolutely nothing. It's just showing the spear alphabet. But I do remember that the treasure is above this, or on the next floor. Okay, there we go. I'll be getting the Vivel Sphere that we got from... I mean, that we placed on the path where we needed to use it to obtain a Destruction Sphere. Because who knows, I might need two Bevel Spheres to access the treasure. No longer need it here anyway. So with this, I shouldn't need to return here. I just hope that I just hope that there isn't another sphere that is placed over there. With this we should be done. Also, we can't really take either the destruction sphere that we got. If we get it, we'll just return here. Whereas, when we place the destruction sphere, it opened a new path for us. Or a new direction. Okay, we got two Bevel Sphere. I'm pretty sure that this is where we'll be making use of it. Uh, So let's get one of the Bevel Sphere. And then place it here. Should get it working, right? I'm still not allowed to go there. Okay, we got an HP Sphere, but I think there's a different treasure. Although when I opened the treasure chest, a symbol appeared. Okay, could it be that you don't actually need to get the treasure here? At the left? Because if I'm not mistaken, that symbol that appears whenever you open the Destruction Sphere treasure chest is the one symbolizing the... Requirement for anima. Kinda. Okay, guess we just need to follow what's on the screen. And go on certain tiles to activate them. Yep. There's a certain pattern that you can follow. You should be right. And this one. Then it involves that one. Hmm. Maybe this one. Okay. We're correct there. Hmm. 
We're still missing one. Should be this one. That should unlock it for us. What are we gonna do with this? Oh, okay. So we need to complete each one of these first. Again. Let's start with this. Nope, not that one. It's this one. Then another one here. Then this one. And then... This one? This is the last one? No, we're still missing one more. This one. Okay, one down, five to go. Since we are we have more or less understood the pattern. Maybe the others will be a little bit faster. We'll place the spheres there later on. For now we need to finish this. Okay, only two of these. Nothing here. Okay, here. Mm, nope, not this. Okay. And this one. What else? Okay, didn't have to repeat that. One should be this. Maybe for the last two, we just need to transfer the spheres. One of these red things. One of these. And we have this. L shape. Definitely not this one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We're just missing one. It's this one. It's gotten definitely easier now that we have memorized what the patterns are. If you are having difficulty deciphering the pattern, then you need to take a closer look as near the ones where you need to step on to activate it, you will see some gray patterns and most of the time that those, rather those will be the lights that will be activated. I did this one. Not this one. Definitely not that one. Okay, we need the yellow here. 
and then another red then this one we're missing the else then one more definitely not these it's one of these okay it's this one now let's get the sphere And we're seeing the Kalika Sphere here. This will be used here. And then the final sphere to fully finish it. The Sage Sphere. Okay. 